Yeah. So today uh, we'll release the Adalo NFC component to you guys. Uh, this probably is not going to be as popular as some of the other components. This will have a very niche use. Uh, right now, we just uh, support uh, the ability to read tag IDs. So uh, writing tag and reading tags, uh, NFC, there's so many different types of tags out there and so many different things that you can do with it. Uh, we wanted to just keep it simple for the no-code community. Uh, if you guys want some customized work for it, feel free to reach out to us. Um, but at least for now, you'll be able to read NFC IDs. If you want to take the source and modify it yourself, feel free to grab it from github.com slash inc slash adalo dash NFC. If you don't feel like doing it from the source code, feel free to head over to adalo.pragmaflowservers.com slash install components. Scroll down and you'll see NFC. Once you enter your username and your password, select your organization, you'll see the install button and you can install it. This app uh, only works on phones and tablets. This is not a web-based, uh, this doesn't have web-based uh, abilities because web browsers don't really support NFC. So with that said, let's hop over to my phone that I'm now sharing. So this is a screen mirror of my phone. And let's just see how this works. So the component itself is really just this read NFC tag button. When I click on it, it'll ask me to scan the tag. So I'll scan my first tag and we've populated it. So two zero, whatever, that's the tag ID of the card I just scanned. I can select to read another, I'll scan another card. Scan another. And let's go back to the original one, just so you can see. And there we go. So that's really it for the component. You can just read NFC tag IDs. Let's go into a little bit of a deep dive on how the component actually works and then how I actually implemented it. So um, we're gonna move this out of the way. Again, the only thing the component is, is this button. We can add uh, the text here, customize the text, customize the color, the font, choose the icon, uh, and we have a couple of different actions. So the first action is to indicate if NFC is turned on. So if you want, you'd probably put some kind of pop-up window or some kind of something uh, that says, hey, your NFC is turned off, please go to the settings page to enable NFC before using this app. I've skipped that for now, just for this video. Then uh, when the user wants to read an NFC tag, so when the user clicks the button, this event is fired. And when you read the tag, uh, this event is fired here. So how I've done it is I have this invisible field right here, and this is called input. So when the user clicks on the button, I'm going to change the input to scan. On this here, when we saw the pop-up come up, this works because I chose this picture here or this text box and, and rectangle is sometimes visible if the input is equal to scan. So once the user clicks the button, it will change this text here to scan, which would cause this to show and hide the screen. Then what I do is once they scan it, I then change that input back to being empty. So when it's empty, this component here goes back to invisible and goes away. And then I've also uh, added input two, which is this box right here. And I've just put the tag ID, which comes from the components. It returns the tag ID and I've put that in the text box. Uh, typically, if you're building an application, you might want to send this out to a third-party service um, so that you know you can register something. Or uh, if it's a fun app at tables where this is specifically for your restaurant, you can have the person put their phone down on an NFC tag and it will send a message saying, this person just sat down at table two, uh, anything like that. So that's, uh, that's really it. So by going and installing the NFC components, you can now 
simply drag and drop it onto your page, wire it up, customize it as you like. And when the user clicks on it, you'll be able to scan NFC tags.